Okay, today what we'll be doing is doing the file management practice one together, uh, just like we did in class. I'll do this video as a good practice for you to study for the test. Um, so this is the instruction sheet that you should already have and that we'll be following. So if you want to go ahead and get that out, if you don't have it out, do that and we can build this together or you can build it and then check it against what I have. All right, so on the instruction sheet, what it says, step one, create a new folder on your flash drive named practice one. All other folders and files will be created in this folder. So with your flash drive inserted into the computer, we'll open up Windows Explorer and we'll find your flash drive. And as you can see, here is my flash drive in the left pane. And like it said, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a folder on your flash drive named Practice One. So I'm going to create a folder. I'm going to name it Practice One. And as you can see, when I put a new folder on my flash drive, it is now here in my left pane also. I have my flash drive expanded out. And you can see that Practice One folder is in the left pane. When I click on that, it is empty. So the next thing I'm going to do that you don't have to, to just to, so it won't create confusion, is remove... Uh, remove all these files here so that they're not up there in our way. All right, so inside of our pra our flash drive, we have our Practice One folder. Like I said, we created, and when we click Practice One, it is empty. So in step two, now we're going to create two new folders on your flash drive in the folder Practice One, one named Courses, one named Computer. So inside of our Practice One folder, we're going to create a new folder, and it's going to be called Courses. And then we're going to create another folder inside of the Practice One folder called Computer. Like so. So, and if we'll keep expanding this left pane out as we build, it'll make the process easier. So, in the Practice One folder, there's a triangle there, so we know we can expand it. And inside of the Practice One folder, now we have a Computer folder and a Courses folder. Now step three tells us to use Word to create a document with a list of classes. Um, just a simple list of classes, English 111, Math 115, CIS 111, and History 120. And then we're going to save the document with the file name classes inside of the courses folder. All right, so let's do that. So we're going to take uh, Microsoft Word. here and just you know we're going to type in those classes English 111 math 115 CIS 111 and history 120 okay we're going to go to file save as and we're going to go to browse and that's going to bring us to our familiar Windows Explorer pane. All right, and we're going to browse. We know we want that inside of our flash drive. Okay, so we can expand that and expand the Practice One folder. And there we have the option to choose computer or courses. And it tells us that in step three, we want to put this file inside of the courses folder. So we'll click in courses. All right, and currently there's no files in there. And we're going to name this file right here. We're going to name it Classes. And just hit Save. Okay, and then we can get rid of this Word document. And we can check to make sure, because we always want to make sure that things were saved where we wanted them saved at. So inside of our Practice One folder, we have our 
computer in our courses folder and if we click courses here then we can now see that the classes file or the classes word document is indeed inside of there so in step four it says use word to create a document with the numbers one two and three listed and save the document with the file name numbers in the courses folder in the practice one folder so let's take it step by step a new word document and just the numbers one two three there again we're gonna go to save as and we're gonna go to browse and we're gonna go to find our flash drive over here and expand it out there again we know we're working in the practice one folder and as step number four has already indicated we want to save that file in the courses folder so courses we already have a classes file in there which we just saved we're going to name remember to name your file as it asks you to and in this case in step four it asks us to name give it a file name of numbers so we'll tip we'll just um, simply type file name numbers and save and get rid of this word document right here and when we go back inside of the practice one folder we have computer which has nothing in it right now then we click on courses it has two files in it one classes and one numbers so so far no problem now for step five it says copy the files from the courses folder into the computer folder so it's asking us to to copy both files classes and numbers from this courses folder into the computer folder which has nothing in it currently so what we'll do is first of all play pay close attention about what it asks us to do it wants us to copy those files so be careful so to copy those files we can just simply right click and copy the classes file and click the computer folder right click and paste a copy of that classes file into the computer folder and we'll do the same thing for the numbers file right click copy go to the computer folder right click and paste now as you become more advanced with using Microsoft Word and with using the Windows Explorer there's some more advanced techniques to copy both files at the same time but for the sake of everyone beginning right now we'll just do it one at a time like we did so that completed step five copying the files from the courses folder into the computer folder now step six create a new folder name semester on your flash drive in the practice one folder so we're going to create another folder in the practice one folder named semester so we're going to click the practice one folder and currently inside of the practice one folder we have a computer folder a courses folder and now we're going to make a new folder called semester just like so now in the folder courses in step seven it wants us to delete the file numbers so we'll go back to our left pane click on courses folder and as it instructs us in step seven we'll delete right click and delete the numbers file and we get this prompt that says are you sure you want to permanently delete this file and yes we do and there it's gone from the courses folder now in step number eight it wants us to rename the courses folder to fall semester 2013 so we can come over here right click and rename and we can rename that courses folder to fall semester 2013 
And sometimes if you've been working with a document like we just deleted this um, this numbers file from here, you'll get this error because it's, it thinks it's opened in another program. So if you've got another instance of Word up, sometimes you have to close it. So I had another document open up in Word and I had to close it. So now I can rename this courses folder to fall semester 2013. And when I click anywhere out here in the white space, then you can see it, it renames that folder to fall semester 2013. Now step nine is a, is, was a kind of a tricky question. It said go to the recycle bin and restore the numbers file. And I'm not going to do that. And the, the um, file management practice one sheet asks you, were you able to? Why or why not? And you already know that you were not able to restore this file because we deleted it from our flash drive and not from the computer itself. So you know it's permanently deleted. So last but not least, what we have to do now in step 10 is draw the file hierarchy to show the location of your folders and files, starting with the folder practice one that we saved on our flash drive. And we'll go through that together and I'll show you the end result of what it should look like. So the first thing we're going to start with is in our practice one folder. You know, we'll have three folders inside of that folder. One named computer, one named fall semester, one named semester. Then inside of the computer folder, we have two files, one named classes, one named numbers. Inside of the fall semester folder, we have just classes. And then inside of semester, it's just an empty folder. We have not placed anything inside of that folder yet. Okay, so after you're through drawing your, your file hierarchy of what you built, it should look like this right here. There again, using your, your left pane and your right pane together to create this drawing. So inside of the practice one folder, we have three folders. One is the computer, the other is fall semester 2013, and the last is semester. Inside the computer folder, we have classes and numbers, and then inside the fall semester 2013, we have classes only. And inside of the semester folder is nothing, so it's empty. And that's exactly what it should look like, and this drawing is what you will, you will be required to do for the test. That concludes um, the file management file hierarchy tutorial.